does having nine agents write one blog post sound like a good idea to you? Well, I've checked it out. I used Crew.ai, which is a new repository, a new framework of using agents in a sort of a agent swarm style. Um, it seems to be interesting. It's a new tool. I've uploaded a video yesterday about like an overview about Crew.ai. You can check it out in the video from yesterday and you can obviously check out the GitHub repository. I won't dive too deep into what is Crew AI because I covered it yesterday, but you can take a look in the documentation and also use their uh, docs, which they actually built a GPT for the docs, which is pretty awesome. Today, I just want to share with you my observations and learnings from building um, a process with Crew AI that basically was supposed to write a blog post for me. Um, about split testing so what I did and probably if you guys I mean if you guys have a better ideas of how to build the process or played with this and and got great results please share it in the comments but what I did the process that I thought of was basically copying the code that I wrote yesterday which was a simple task I just shared it with the GPT so I thought it, I have this code and then it responded about what he thinks that this code is. And basically I told it to adjust the script so it will be able to write an SEO blog post. Break it down to many agents, a boss, an outline, outliner agent, a keyword researcher, a technical SEO agent, a content writer, a proofreader, an editor, an, outreach, an outreach expert, which will suggest who can reach out, who can we reach out to and promote the blog and break it down to many agents and many tasks. Um, so then ChatGPT suggested the different uh, agents based on the role, the goal and the task, which is amazing because this is exactly the structure that the crew AI is expecting. So both agent, overseer and coordinator of the entire process, ensures that the blog post meets the desired standards and ob objectives the outliner is the planner of the blog structure, creates a comprehensive outline for the blog post. The keyword research agent is a SEO specialist focusing on keyword research, and his goal is to identify optimal keywords for the blog post. The technical SEO, expert, SEO agent is specializing in technical aspects of SEO. He ensures that the blog post is optimized for search engine. We have the content writer, the proofreader, and the editor and then the outreach expert. Basically, it just wrote, ChatGPT just wrote like the most basic and fundamental explanations of each of these roles. And then it wrote down the code, which is amazing because I just copied and pasted and it was already in the structure that I expected. So it wrote the tasks, and then the initialization of uh, of the crew kickoff, basically, which is basically um, the prompt that you give for the script to start running. Just one thing that was missing is the fact that it didn't write the roles and background. It didn't elaborate regarding each role and background in this um, snippet. So I, wrote, I asked it to rewrite everything. And so it did. So certainly here's the field in code with the specific goals and backstories for each agent. So we throw down everything and I just copied and pasted it into my Visual Studio code. Uh, so it looks like this and I'm going to, obviously I'm going to revoke the API keys afterwards. So we have the boss agent, his goal. We have the outliner and his goal. We have the researcher and his goal and obviously the backstory, but I, I want to move fast because I don't want to bore you guys. Technical SEO, content writer, the proofreader, the editor, and the outreach expert. And then after we defined all the agents, we create the task. So the task outline, the first task is the outlining. The next is the keyword research. And we have a description of the each task. The next is the te technical SEO, 
the next one is the content writing afterwards we have the proofreading afterwards we have the editing then we have the outreach and then we have the approval of the task and as you can see i asked ChatGPT to break it down into like many steps because i wanted to see if the process if it if it is broken down to many steps if the result is more accurate then the next thing is actually to initiate um, the whole thing so we built the crew we mentioned the agents and then we wrote like which task the the sequential order of each task first we do the outline then we spit out the output of the outline we give it to the task keyword research then based on this we create the technical seo then we write the blog post then we do the proofreading afterwards we do the editing then we discuss the outreach and after everything is done the boss approves uh, the blog post now my first iteration was not that good i can share it with you guys here but basically what we had it started out pretty pretty well so first of all it wrote down like a, a very nice outline as you can see it, it's about split testing as i mentioned so the introduction what is sp split testing why split testing is crucial for your business how to conduct a split test case studies of s successful split testing common pitfalls conclusion etc then as you can see it finished the task and it uh, wrote the output for the next uh, agent and the next the next agent was conducting the keyword research so it came up with actually good uh, keyword research so split testing a b testing cro conversion rate optimization ux experience uh, optimization digital marketing split test case studies split testing mistakes so that was pretty good uh, it, it wrote everything down over here then the technical seo um, guy he wrote the agent of the technical seo he wrote stuff that was very um, general nothing specific to the task and because his output was general the next agent the content writer he didn't have the context of the split testing and the keyword that we intended to have in the blog post and the outline so we just wrote a blog post about the power of yoga so this is where I paused the generation of the next steps and I decided to add a bit more context to the process. So before, um, in the first iteration, I didn't write to each agent, I didn't write like this part. So create a comprehensive and engaging outline for the blog post. And I added this after that. Before I didn't have like, I didn't mention the fact that it's supposed to be about split testing in each instance. As you can see also over here, I wrote about split testing because I thought that the agents will know this based on the context from uh, the steps that the, the task that we created before. But apparently it didn't work this way. So I made, I made these adjustments and then uh, I rerun the code and this is what I got. Let me show you. Okay, so here, let's go down. I have did a few tweaks, so I just want to take you to the last one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first we started out with the outliner. And as you can see, Query AI lets you know who is the working agent and what the task that we are starting to work. So. First of all, the agent asked himself, do I need uh, to use a tool? So he answered himself, no. By the way, I think the next step, okay, I will cover this in my like summary of this uh, thing, but I think tools are crucial in this case. So he wrote down a blog post outline, introduction, what is split testing, the importance of split testing, types of split testing, steps in conducting a successful split test, case studies, etc. Then uh, the task output, it's basically the, the outline. And this output is what the next agent is going to use 
when he is generating. So this is very important. This stage is very important. So next, the keyword researcher. He conducts a keyword research about split testing. Um, he tries to use various tools so, such as keyword uh, Google Keyword Planner, but he doesn't have access to it. So eventually he decides to do this on his own. And based on the blog post outline and my understanding of the topic, here are some potential keywords to target. Split testing, A-B testing, AV MVT testing, split URL testing, CRO, improve uh, UX, digital marketing, Optimizely, which is a tool, VWO, which is a split testing tool, etc. He wrote down, down everything and it gave it to the technical SEO uh, expert agent. And then he said, basically, he gave a bit of generic advice regarding um, technical SEO, which is great. It's always relevant and often overlooked. So I have no complaints. Um, so basically it suggested incorporate these keywords in strategic places like the title, headers, meta description, and throughout the content. However, avoid keyword stuffing and it can lead to uh, penalties. So the URL, the URL structure of the blog post should be SEO friendly, easy to read, and include the primary keyword. For instance, your website, blog, split testing guide. So I like that. Then it suggests how to do internal linking, external linking, how to optimize the images, which is also important, how to optimize page speed, etc. And then we are moving to the content writer, and the content writer wrote this blog post. So the ultimate guide to split testing boosts your conversion rates today. URL, as you can see, meta description, uncover the secrets of split testing, learn how to boost your conversion rates and optimize your marketing efforts with our comprehensive guide. And then it goes about and like wrote the blog. As digital marketers, we're always seeking innovative ways, etc. blah, blah, blah. Then it also suggests a keyword. Then it discusses a bit more about split testing and the keyword is increase uh, click uh, CTRs. And it goes on and on and on. It didn't write uh, such a long blog post. I like the summary. Ready to start split testing. Here are the steps to get you started. Define your goal. Choose what to test. Create two variations. Run your test. Analyze results and implement changes. And then it has like a, to wrap up. Split testing in an invaluable tool in a digital marketer's toolbox with it, its ability to provide Actionable insights and drive conversions. It's a strategy that cannot be overlooked. Totally agree. And then it has like a call to action. Don't hesitate to reach out, etc. And then it wrote a note. This post is optimized for mobile viewing and page speed. All images included or SEO optimized, etc. Now we are moving on. So this is the output. And we are moving on to the next agent. So it's the proofreader. He basically says that the blog is well written. We are moving to the editor. So the editor said, since the blog post has already been well written and is free of grammatical and spelling errors, my responsibility as an editor is to ensure that the content aligns with overall strategy. Upon reading the blog post, I found that it does co coincide with our strategy and no significant changes are required. However, to maintain our tone and style, I have some minor tweaks and adjustments. I have made some adjustments to the sentence structure. The final version of the blog is now ready for publishing. And this didn't happen. It just wrote this, <laughs> this output, but it didn't make any adjustments. So this is probably because it's sequential. And basically what, I mean, I didn't know how to define this. So it will actually made the iteration and actually improve. Um, the blog post we will cover this in like my takeaways then the outreach expert suggested uh, some generic advice good advice but generic advice regarding how we can get more eyeballs to our uh, to our blog posts and then the the boss basically took a look and he gave this answer the content of the blog is about split testing an essential technique in digital marketing for optimizing website or campaign performance the outreach strategies and promotion methods outlined cover various channels and audiences, ensuring maximum exposure for the blog post. 
זה include social media, email marketing, influencer outreach, partner promotion, guest posting, SEO, online advertising, forums, discussion boards, webinars, etc. And I am satisfied with the content and the promotion plan. And this is basically it. So we have um, the blog post, what we should do next with regards to how we should promote it, and the bottom line by the boss. To tell you that I'm in love with the output, I cannot tell you. I mean, it is not there yet, but obviously I didn't do, I didn't do much in order to optimize this. So it is a, a, a nice starting point. It was very fast. I didn't, I, I, like I said, it took me like three minutes, the whole thing. Once I understand like from the technical perspective what I need to do, I just asked ChatGPT to create these agents for me and it was very fast and, and efficient. Um, I wrote down a few takeaways that I would like to share with you guys. So the key takeaways, first of all, is make sure to share context and, and specific instructions everywhere. So in the task, in the task description, in the, in the agent description, in the backstory, they should always know what is the specific thing that we would like to achieve. Leave no, leave no room for ambiguity, um, ambiguity or like anything that is generic. It won't work based on my experiment. Next, it's probably better not to have complex or long processes because as you saw, um, as we went further down the task, we kind of forgot the agent or the algorithm or the framework. It kind of forgot what we had before. So I would probably, for now, what I would do I would basically chop each process down and probably have like three tasks in every process and just do this uh, like uh, like inter inter have like my input in between and make the adjustments and not just hopefully like give it to run on autopilot. So probably better not to have complex or long processes. It would probably make sense to start using. Um, the tools function that Core AI offers. And basically these tools functions are built on the Langchain tools, which is a very comprehensive and um, interesting way to get stuff done. You can read more about this in the Langchain uh, documentation and I can cover this uh, in, like cover this in uh, next videos. If you're interested, just leave them in the comment section. Um, need to find use cases which are more straightforward. This is, I'm not sure about this, but basically I thought that creating a blog post is very straightforward. Um, but maybe creating a good blog post has elements that are subjective and maybe this process driven framework might make sense for something that is, has like a more of a deterministic outcome. So like a job to be done that we need um, with no deviation and no like more like a mathematical or, or, log or logical questioning and not like something which is a bit more subjective but i'm not sure about this it's just a just a thought and the last thought is maybe don't have redundant roles and no need to over specialize so i just wanted to test how it feels or to create like nine agents but it probably was a bit I wouldn't say stupid but it, it might be a bit irrelevant to have like the editor, the proofreader, the content writer, because it, it creates just like a redundancy, which I don't think is necessary uh, for this type of task. But again, it's just, um, this whole thing is just a work in progress. This is a new GitHub repository. I think it has a ton of potential, but we need to play with it and, and, and see how it works and how we can leverage this. Yeah, I guess that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions or have any ideas of how we can utilize this better, please share them in the comment section. I'd be happy to learn, happy to hear. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on automating.